Hey YouTube, this is Southern Purple One. We all know we need some emergency lighting, and that can be anywhere from candles to oil lamps to propane um, to solar. There's all kinds of lights that we can use in an emergency, from a storm, from power going out to a, a long-term collapse of the economy, a raw event, wh whatever you're planning for. We need some type of lighting in our homes. I want to show you some lighting in my shop. I actually have probably more lighting in the shop for emergencies than in the house just because um, there's a lot of things that I'm needing to do especially in an emergency I'll be working a lot of hours trying to get things done so let me show you what I have set up in here I got two separate systems and they're the Harbor Freight systems um, Harbor Freight has has done uh, a wonderful job for me I've had great results I have four complete systems and they are working great I have uh, two systems in here. Uh, one of the systems has 90 watts of power to two of the uh, systems can, together. And then the other one, the one back here, just has the a 20 watt panel that I hooked up to one of them. And that just runs a few lights. So let me show you what I've done. Back in this area, I have uh, two lights. One here and one here. And what I've done so I can get... Um, four lights hooked into it. I went to Radio Shack. Let me give you a little bit more light. Uh, spotlighting, art of, these lights work great. What I have done is from Radio Shack I bought this adapter. Um, normally you get two of these lights with each kit and you just plug them in into there. But what I did was I bought this seven dollar adapter and now I can plug two into each one so I can get four light bulbs out of each charge controller. So that has come in very handy. So back here, I have only two bulbs. Right there is my 1,600-gallon uh, tank, and I'll do a full video on my water system. But that can be filled with uh, rain catchment off the roof. It can be filled with my um, 220 submersible from my well. It can be filled with my uh, simple pump solar, or it could be filled with the hand pump. So multiple ways to put water in that tank. Uh, that's used for my fire control, used for irrigation, and could be used for putting potable water into the house. Uh, but that's a whole nother video in itself. I put it in here because I want it secure. I, want, I don't want uh, sunlight breaking down the container, which it will last a long time in the sun. But I, I don't want algae growing in it, and I get no algae when it's inside the building in the dark. Um, so I have two lights back here, and that provides plenty to work on anything I need to work back here. also gives me plenty of light if I need to uh, find any supplies um, that is in any of these bins or any of the supplies anywhere. The wood stove, so if I am doing any cooking, uh, um, I have plenty of light. I put two of those lights, there's actually two two lights right above it and it's run off the system back there so those four are on that system. I also want a lot of light in here because I never know um, you know let's just look at here medical supplies if you have an emergency at night and you need a lot of light do you have it at your place do you have it uh, where you can provide a lot of light and it might be for an extended hours while you're treating someone uh, so this room would also become a place where I could treat someone. Yes, yeah, not as clean as I would like. It's not as clean as an emergency room. That is for sure. But what I can do, it will probably work okay. All right, we have four more lights hooked up this other system. And that system is uh, right there. And I have the same adapters hooked up. And then I have all my combo equipment here. Um, I don't know if you can see that. But this is vital. This, this solar system right here is to run um, what I have. I got three CBs ready to go, uh, the ham, um, another Oshan radio, and some other ones, uh, scanners. So I could be potentially using a lot of power. Um, people will probably say, you know, ARs, guns, and ammo is more important. To me, I think combo will be so much more important than firearms. Yeah, you need firearms, but 
but I would rather be able to monitor four or five different sources at the same time and it's going to take people and so what I have I have this set up where that's just my regular workstation for doing things around the home or the retreat um, but in an emergency that would become a place where people could monitor and then this stool over here someone could sit here so we could have multiple people monitoring if that's the case you need different types of headphones because if not it'd be very hard to monitor a few a few channels plus listen to the other few channels going on next to you so I need camo I need light so I could do all these things also what about fixing something um, say that Honda generator is needed at night and it broke or I had to do some simple maintenance on it if you're relying on that generator for your light and that generator goes out you need some way to fix it. You need an area to take it where you can have plenty of light. Because if you start getting into that and all the little pieces, you, you better have light. But you know what? Honda generators don't break, so that won't be a problem with the Honda generator. Well, I hope not. So I have two lights in here. One there and one there. And then the other two lights running off that system are in here. Um, there's one above me. And that's the run for the kitchen. So if you do have work to be done, especially during canning season, you might be running late and you're going to have to have lots of light to finish your task. Um, so plenty of light here to do your task. And then I have another one in here. And that's the gun safe that we put in. I had to take that whole wall down over there. But I'll be doing a separate video on that. Um, I, I really enjoy that safe. It's, it's just a great quality safe uh, that I bought for... For next to nothing so happy I got that very grateful I got that so this is what I'm doing for lights you probably don't have enough to sit here and read but uh, with a little spotlight on or one of these little lights you could probably do it I'm gonna show you this Coleman I've had three of these Coleman uh, I liked them at first uh, this one works great do not recommend this light the the two other ones I had the battery um, it's supposed to be, I believe, 6 volts, and it dropped down just a little bit above 3, so half those cells in there uh, are not working. My father bought one because I told him they were a great light. Um, within 4 or 5 months, he had the same problem with his battery. So 3 out of the 4, the battery failed. Totally disappointed in Coleman. Would never purchase another one of those again. So this is what I'm doing for our artificial light. I believe this is my most important room on the property. Um, this room will be a hub of my retreat. It's, it's already a room I do a lot of stuff in. I still got a lot of work to do. I'm going to insulate um, the ceiling, put some uh, board and batten up or some type of uh, lap boards to, to dress up the ceiling. But this room is a key room. It's got my supplies in it. It's got camo in it. It's got a repair area in it. Uh, just a lot of things that you might need to do during night. I don't think we're going to have uh, any free time. I think we're going to have to spend a lot of time maintaining our equipment, especially in a raw event where you can't go out and buy a new piece of equipment. I, I think uh, properly maintaining things will be very important. So this is my artificial light to keep this running. Um, I'm working on some lighting for the house. Hopefully I can go with a better quality system. The Harbor Freight's done really well for me, but I definitely want to go. I have one sharp 240 watt panel on my simple pump, and that is working out great for me. So hopefully as I save and progress, I can put a little better system on the house and show you that. But main reason this video is not to give you answers for how to artificially light up your uh, your home or workspace but it's to give you a question how are you going to light up your workspace because everyone's different everyone lives suburban rural you know you you might have a lot of money a little money so how are you going to solve your problem of light in your workspace and combo center thanks for watching